Hi, welcome to this knowledge clip about Dutch cycling. My name is Thijen Goris from DTV Capacity Building in the Netherlands. The famous Dutch Crow Bike Design Manual talks about five design principles for bicycle infrastructure. Cohesion, directness, safety, comfort and attractiveness. In the next minutes I will introduce the safety principle. And when we talk about safety in this context, we refer to road safety, but also to personal health, reducing stress and minimizing the exposure to pollutants and noise. Infrastructure, including bicycle infrastructure, should guarantee the safety of both cyclists as other road users. Providing a safe bicycle infrastructure is important to target the so-called interested but concerned. A large segment of roughly 60% of potential cyclists that are interested to cycle or cycle more, but are not doing so. Providing safe infrastructure could contribute to persuading this group, relevant to take this into account. For bicycle infrastructure to adhere to the safety design principle, it should strive to avoid differences in speed and mass as much as possible. At street design level, we want to segregate different vehicle types by providing solitary cycle lanes or using physical separators. At the intersection level, grade solutions such as tunnels and bridges can be used, especially for roads with high volumes of traffic or high speed limits. Secondly, in locations where crossings cannot be avoided, the maximum permissible speed should be reduced. This minimizes risks of accidents and makes it easier for all road users to assess the traffic situation. The safety principle is also relevant to take into account at network level. Let's see how this works. The key is planning links in such a way that exposure accident risks, emissions, noise and stress are avoided. Often, links are planned next to busy arterial roads. However, quieter streets, a block up or a block down, are much more interesting if we look at our safety ambitions. On those streets, traffic volumes are lower and often more space and spare capacity is available to realize a safe bicycle infrastructure design. So the lesson here is to plan the bicycle network in such way that the amount of links that is shared with the principal car network is limited. And remember that multiple priorities are no priorities. Finally, very important with regard to safety is to ensure uniformity in traffic situations. To make sure that traffic situations are the same across the network and are in line with their road functions. In other words, if cyclists have the right of way on the principal bicycle network, all situations along the network should be designed as such and recognizable as such. In this clip, I have focused on one of the design principles for bicycle infrastructure, safety. The key advantage of the design principles is the transferability. Whether you are in Europe, the Americas, Africa, Asia, down under or elsewhere. Whether you are a starting, climbing or a champion cycling culture, these design principles apply to each situation. And applying the design principles leads to safe and successful bicycle infrastructure.